Hello, everyone. I would like to thank you for your attention as Team B3 presents your proposal on how to best address advanced care planning in the nursing home setting during the COVID pandemic. The primary aim of this quality improvement project is to standardize advanced care planning conversations and increase the number of documented up-to-date advanced directives for nursing home residents. Specifically, it is our intention that all current residents who do not have an advanced directive or those that have not been updated within the past six months will have a standardized discussion with their healthcare proxy and advanced care planning trained staff within one month. Additionally, all new admissions will have this conversation within 14 days of admission. Based on the results of our quantitative survey pre and post intervention, it is our goal that we will improve the comfort of patients with end of care planning by at least 25% over one month. After one month, we hope that 75% of our residents will have advanced directives on record and 50% of those that have not been updated within the six months will be successfully updated. Some background info for our project. About 37% of Americans complete an advanced directive. 70% of older Americans complete an advanced directive before their death, but only 65% of nursing home residents have an advanced directive on record, demonstrating some disparity. Advanced directives are perceived to be stable over time, but evidence suggests that these are dynamic over years, and there is little data suggesting how often they get updated. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, at least one-third of deaths and up to 50% in some states are from the long-term care population. In some, there is a lower proportion of older adults in nursing homes with advanced directives and little indication that these are updated frequently or recently. With COVID-19, these adults are at highest risk for infection, hospitalization with intensive care, and death, making advanced care planning crucial. The first stage of this project is a quantification stage. First, we will have to categorize our residents regarding whether or not they've had advanced directive conversation within the last six months, and then we'll have to log this information in a centralized database. Simultaneously, we will conduct pre-intervention surveys of all of our residents to determine their comfort with end-of-life care planning. The next stage involves the training of at least two registered nurses and two social workers from our facility. Our educational resource is an online course centered around end-of-life planning provided by the Conversation Project and the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. This is a peer-reviewed resource recommended by both the Journal for Neuroscience Nursing as well as the Dimensions of Critical Care Nursing. Trainees will then practice with virtual standardized residents, and ideally this entire process will take around two weeks. Following this training period, it will be required that within the first 24 hours of any new admission, residents should have an advanced directive discussion provided they are able to have this conversation. Simultaneously, following the two-week training period, it will also be important that we have discussions with all of our current residents to ensure that they've had advanced directive conversations within the last six months. Ideally, this will all be completed within a one-month period we also recognize that it's important that family and friends are involved in both the conversations with new residents and with, with existing residents. We also recognize that our current facility lacks Wi-Fi capabilities. We're thinking that it's important for us to invest in a couple of iPads with 4G capabilities in order to rope them in either through FaceTime or other means. COVID-19 positive residents will be screened from other residents and educated using a questionnaire edit edited from Guar et al. to see what the impact of COVID-19 may be upon their advanced directives. This will be an evolving conversation over time. There will be regular conversations regarding advanced directive planning with post surveys to assess their comfort at every six-month checkpoint to benchmark both their shifting goals of care as well as their level of comfort at each point in time. This is the COVID-19 Communication and Care Planning Checklist developed by Guar et al. We are planning to use this as it is a tool to provide a structured approach to advanced care planning conversations with residents and their families regarding COVID-19 infection and expected outcomes. The communication tool is intended to guide staff through conversations around concerns related to COVID-19 infections. Thanks, Robert. Intervention include creating a standardized plan for addressing ADs, standardized resident interactions and simulations increase proficiency in approaching the conversation, increasing the likelihood of pulsed aligning with residents' wishes, 
and finally improving the comfort of residents and their families regarding end-of-life care. Uh, IDEA has many limitations as well, and so one of the big ones is that residents may still harbor negative perceptions of the whole process, as well as a limited number of staff trained could lead to increased workload of the individuals tasked with doing all the work, and as well as the residents uh, themselves could be incapable of expressing their wishes or have no circuit decision maker. And um, finally, residents with minority identities may require a more tailored approach to conversations like this. However, we have written here how we hope to tackle each of these possible limitations. 